Good evening. Welcome to Board of Education April 10th work session. Calling the meeting to order, and um, I need a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. And second. I have a motion and second to approve the agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. We're going to start on our continuation of the superintendent's evaluation tool. Our goal is to complete this today. Um, all we should have left after this is just edits and uh, a review of the changes we've made. So like um, like Mrs. Wright did with the first um, first work that we did, she, I appreciate her putting all that in to a document. I know we've been talking about my personal opinion. Is, well, okay, let me finish what we're going to do today. Then we're going to complete. I believe we, we need to go maybe review a little on standard four because we kind of rushed to the end mm -hmm. and then work on five six and seven we also need to discuss the rating and numbers of the rating and where we how we there's been some concern and ideas about putting actual numbers on the, the score to make scores so it can be documented that way when we do the evaluation so but i want to get that all clear too before we um, put it forward as the instrument we're going to use. So also, as I understand it, we're going to start with four and finish, work, finish right. four and then work forward. And work five, six, and seven. Right. Uh, we got rid of seven, didn't we? Well, I'm not sure. We were and then we weren't, so we need to talk about that. I yes. Have to do that again. I think we took seven off, as I understood it. I think we added professionalism to that, so. Okay. Yeah. When we when okay. we get to that, we change it from ethical leadership plan alone and added and professionalism. Okay. And I have thoughts on that too, of taking out the whole ethical word and you know professionalism, professional leadership or something like that is. Uh, so we should talk about when we get to seven if we can. That would be. I think we should do it now. I don't. I don't mind. No. But, go. Just. Um, and the the other thing is we. Um, I think we we need to. I went through, it's very hard to do some of the, I think we did miraculous the last meeting to get what we did done, because when I went through trying to match things for today, it, it kind of got overwhelmed a little bit, overwhelmed with what I was trying to do. We, we've talked about it being too large, but I'm not sure it is. It's only about, right now, it's a couple pages more than the original 15 I had. So it, it'll probably be up to about 20, I'm guessing. I don't know that that's so bad because what we're doing, we're not necessarily adding more work. We're adding some clarity and some a little more um, <coughs> more explanations of what the superintendent can do to meet the the performance indicator that we have. So, I, you know, we can cut some of it out, but I think what it does is give her ideas of the kinds of things she can do to meet the the performance indicator. That's the way I'm reading is, do you see it that way too? I Dr. do, King? and I and I think also that once we put the indicators in that we've been discussing, that we're gonna come back and probably do some narrowing and we'll look at what is redundant. And so I think it will probably end up um, a little less bulky than it is right now. But redundancy is okay. I just, some as I was going through it though, I think they th it throws out really good ideas for each item that we're trying I, to accomplish. And I'm not sure it's it's necessarily too big because of that. You understand what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. um, I read through it what Jackie put down and what the changes we made, and and it just adds more clarity. Like you've got a 4.1 instead of just a word on, on say standard four. Instead of just saying monitors and evaluates the management of operational systems. It gives like right there. It gives that was the biggest one. It gives like ten ideas of how she she would do that. Is the way I understand it. So, but I understand what you're saying, Dr. Kane, and there are some duplications in here because we we moved them and merged them, and so I, I knew we were going to have some of that right. going on. Um, some of the words I think even repeat. So, but I wasn't prepared to <laughs> edit it yet. That's kind of an editing thing, I think. Um, and I guess that's what we, if we can get through, if we can plod, plodge, whatever the word is, get through the, the, the three more items, standards, then we can go back and, and review some of them and just kind of glance at the individual ones and make sure we're not um, repeating ourselves in them. 
Okay. It's, it would be my way, idea how we move forward. Okay, so we're going to finish revisions and adding and editing tonight. If we can, we want to. Mrs. Add. Wright will put that together yes. and send to us for proofing. Correct. Okay. Could we also address the four ineffective, needs improvement, effective, and highly effective? Could we not just go ahead and merge ineffective, needs improvement? That way we only have three classifications. Rather than having four, you need a beginning, you need a middle, and you need an end. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. That way, that will also make this document so uh, not so cumbersome. Anything? Yeah. I don't have a problem. I mean, with it's that. like it's I, like having satisfa It's like having outstanding, satisfactory, and unsatisfactory. Why not have only just three, rather than four? Yeah, because if it's unsatisfactory, it's going to need improvement anyway. It's, yeah, exactly. So that whole thing yeah. about needs improvement, just put it under ineffective and saying merge it, merge it, and not have not have all the lengthy descriptions. Just saying it, it needs improvement in this area. Blah blah blah. Oh, okay, that could change be. The, well, the wording, the the way I re read the wording is like ineffective. Say management of district. I'm like, okay, I'm was on four. Let's just go to one. I, I we don't have to get into it right now, but, but if we consider yeah. only having three. I, I don't think that's a problem. Okay. I, I don't think a, a superintendent is going to be ineffective. I mean, I think that okay. that person wouldn't even be in that position if they're totally well, then ineffective. just call it needs improvement rather than yeah. ineffective. Yeah, I mean, so I'm so be, in agreement with it needs with improvement, you. satisfactory, mm -hmm. effective. And you know what I'm saying? Just we don't need to have four standards. I mean, it's not well, standards. I, I see what you mean. Because, say, policy and government, you're ineffective is not engaged in work related to policies. Right. Does not enforce policies. So We're not going to have somebody sitting in this position that is that way. They would, well, you know, we would the needs not. improvement makes more sense, in my opinion. It's, it's, if we got someone like that, we're really in big okay. trouble. So, but you still need to have it here because if that were happening, this is your way to address it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is your way to evaluate so it and bring correction. needing improvement effective and highly effective to me and then that whole needs improvement can go under ineffective that way we, we have three classifications and this is you know and this is what needs to be addressed so we somehow merge the yes. descriptions of those two mm -hmm. into yes. one okay i mean i'm okay with that and you're going to call it what ineffective yeah we're going to call it ineffective we could just call it needing improvement because if they're ineffective they need improvement okay we we'll call it needing Okay, it, I was just making it more professional by saying ineffective, effective, and highly effective. Oh, keeping oh, the, keeping the, you know, consistent. Consistent. Ineffective needing improvement, and here it is. It's, it's, it's just consistent. Okay, because you can look at it the other way too. If, if they engage minimally in pos policy work, then they're ineffective. So, okay, I see what you mean, Tammy, yeah. I was trying to go the other direction. At this point, less right now is... Sure. It's... it's okay, everyone agree we'll on merge it. those together. Okay. That's all the ineffective. Ineffective. Okay. Effective. Highly effective. Thank you. I understand what you're saying now. Thank you. All right, so we'll change it, and then we'll change all the... So what were we on on standard, performance standard four, that we didn't have? Yeah, it was just... And I just want to go back and review that real quick. Um, we went through it quickly, though. Yes, quickly. I think that was the. But I don't know if anyone had a chance to go back and look at theirs. Um, Somewhere I thought we should be putting in the school monitoring. We don't, there's a lot of work that goes into school monitoring and it's not listed in here and as far as I can tell. You have monitors and evaluates, but I wanted to add a bullet in there that says conducts routine school monitoring visits throughout the district. Um, um, do we have that in instructional leadership? Oh, we do, okay, all right. That's toward the back. Number end. five. Yeah, thank you. Okay, see, I didn't remember seeing that. 
and um, it's under uh, L2. And um, you say L2. We want to move that into instruction, so we want to put that in performance five, which we haven't done yet. In the oh, very the one. end of that, we have monitors and assesses the effect of programs or curriculum on student achievement. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on, let's see, which one is that? That's instruction was L, domain L. Which we haven't gotten to yet. And where are we? So, because we're matriculating two different documents here. Yes. So, we haven't gotten to, I do not believe, um, the instructional leadership. Which goes in, is... Performance five, right. Correct. We haven't gotten to that one yet. I thought and that, that was four. Mm -hmm. And that is, um, that is pretty explicit there. Performance standard L2, the superintendent oversees the, well, no, that's not that. Alignment of assigned programs. Where are you looking, Mr. P? L2. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, monitors and coordination of instructional programs with state well, and local just standards. Just tell me the page. Right there. Okay, so um, so if you look at the white paper, AESA one, and it has domain L instructional leadership under performance standard L two, performance indicators, um, mm -hmm. at the top of the second column, it's talking about the the superintendent monitors um, the coordination of instructional programs with state and local standards. Um, works with the board, staff, and community, provides direction and support in planning and implementing activities and program consistent with continuous improvement efforts and attainment of instructional goals. So it, it probably is captured here, but also on the document that Ms. Wright did where we are looking at performance standard five, it, di it does reference um, the superintendent monitors and assesses <coughs> the effect of the effect of the programs and or curriculum on student achievement. Okay, I guess that fits in there then. Mm -hmm. We could actually make that one of the um, suggested data and documentation mm -hmm. at the bottom there saying, you know, mo monitor, um, what is it, conducts routine school monitoring visits throughout the district. So you want to put and that the purpose in? of that is to determine the, their progress. Sure. And. Um, and instructional goals, meeting their instructional goals. It's kind of the statement I was thinking of putting in there. Um, we could put that under data. I'm on, I'm on performance five, uh, performance standard five, suggested data and documentation to put in there, um, conducts routine school monitoring visits throughout the district to determine progress on instructional goals. I'll give that to you too. Um, now the big question I've been really, really struggling with is where do we reflect closing achievement gaps, which is an equity. I've searched through this. There's little equity here and there, but I don't know if we're putting the emphasis on it that we need because that seemed. Would that not be under curriculum instruction? Instruction, the lens of equity. Yep, and we added, remember we added a piece um, that was from my goals that referenced equity as well. That was under visionary leadership. And right, right, that was visionary leadership, as I recall. It. And if, if we feel that that's where it belongs, it's fine. I just want to be sure we give it the emphasis it needs. Right, we also address it in um, the first one as well, even though it, it says visionary leadership. If you look under... Standard one, we talk about 1.2, collects and uses data to identify goals, assess organizational effectiveness, and approach, uh, promote organizational lear um, learning. Um, and we also talk about identifying strength and we strengths and weaknesses in programs, um, promotes continuous and sustainable improvement. Okay. But let me go back and look and see what we said for the equity piece. I found that most of this performance standard number five that's listed on, on this page from here, mm -hmm. I found that a lot of that was not useful. Um, uses child development and learning theories, 
designs assessments aligned with the curriculum. I mean, all that is covered under collaborative instruction decision making. Creates accountability and data systems. Now that one, no, that one probably doesn't actually create accountability and data systems. There, I would say, uses them rather than creates. So some of this stuff is already incorporated in some of your other, I found. In the ones we've already been through? Yes. Okay. Designs curriculum aligned with standards that anticipate you know, occupational trends. Could also put on there with the, through the lens of equity. Um, and then measure student progress using appropriate techniques. All that can be incorporated. So it, I think they're kind of. Yeah, they're in there without redundant. actually saying it. No. Yeah. Yes, because they're already included in those things. Yeah, right. I mean, because if you're, if you're using all these appropriate curriculum and instruction tools, this stuff is already there. I mean, and correct me if I'm wrong. If you're using it, I mean, it's there. Correct, correct. I'm, I apologize because we were talking about two different things. Sorry. And we were talking, that's all right, no problem. We were talking about the equity piece and where we put that from my goals, and that was supposed to be in the, the rubric that comes behind goal one, okay. according to my notes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, so, Ms. Wright, we need to make sure that that gets there. And which your, the highly effective rubric? Yes. Yeah. Is that what here. your notes say? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I don't see it there either. Anyway. Yeah. No. So it should. We. I had a note to add the equity piece from the goals. Okay. Um, it's going to go behind one point, or just no right under inside the rubric. rubric. No. Oh. Um, the next. In the chart. Yeah. We're um, in performance one. Put the next page. Yeah. There there go. Go. So in here, we need to just add how we curve. Okay. From equity, which one is straight out of her um, mm -hmm. okay. her goals, which was a, a really good, covers the whole thing for um, the lens of equity in my mind. And then I apologize, Ms. Um, Harper, what were you saying about the next one? So in, in, under performance standard number five, mm -hmm. there's five, three, five, four, five, five, and five, six. I just feel like all that can be incorporated under five, one, or five, two. You know, it doesn't need to be. Oh uh, yeah. There, you know what I'm saying. Correct. Because pretty much right. redundant. Because we're not creating anything not creating. new. You're using right. the tools that are there, yeah. and you're you're monitoring progress. <clears throat> you're you're anticipating trends. You're. I mean, this is all a part of of the scope mm -hmm. of the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. So why not why not you know make it a collaborative sentence to cover it all? So you want to back that up to one. Sustains a focus on teaching and learning, emphasizing collaborative mm -hmm. instructional decision making mm -hmm. with high expectations and engagement. Somehow. Merge it. Yes. And I'm looking under the ASA, ASA, and I don't see it anywhere here where it could. Hey, would you say that one more time? Um, so, it works with staff to develop a written plan for the coordination and articulation of curtain, current curricular goals, you know, uh, that would anticipate, you know, occupational trends, chronology and career readiness, lens of equity. It could, I mean, we could design this that it would incorporate all that because it's part of the job. It's all there. So standard five is coincides with L, correct? Yes, mm -hmm. that's where I'm looking. You're, you're on L. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find the words that they have yeah, to use right. it because all this is here. Uses accountability and data systems to monitor the student and school system progress and the impact of instructional learning. I mean, so all look that's under important. look under L2 performance indicators and the first and fourth um, indicators, first first and fourth bullets in that first column there. Yes. Where you talk about articulating the goals, the objectives and frameworks to staff and others, but then the fourth one providing direction, so not necessarily creating or designing um, accountability systems or the okay. actual curriculum, but providing direction and support in implementing them. With using um, accountability and data systems that monitor the progress of students and the school system. So instead of, we could create a new 5.4 
with the language that you're talking about right now. Okay. To just incorporate all that. Yeah. So collapse and provide direction. Which ones are you collapsing, Tina? 5.4 to 5.6. Okay. Got it. Using using these two indicators here. See this? 5.4 She's taking 5.4 to 5.6 and collapsing those down. But you're using the wording, the, the, the language that's on Incorporating the word under L5, L2, L2 yes. Okay. Yeah, right. And that's bullets number one and number four? Correct. Yes. And, in, and just incorporating that all together. Mm -hmm. So to close out four, we're good with four then? I just added that one thing that I was concerned about. Yeah, about I'm fine with that. So, okay, so we can solidly look at five. <laughs> so we need to make sure we go through each item on L and make it sure it's included in five. Yeah, because it has on here, under your suggested data, under the suggested data, develop system to smoothly align curriculum. I don't think that the superintendent develops systems. I mean, the system is in place. You're just assessing the data, you know, in order to help students attain the, 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 the goals and requirements. You can just see that develops it. Just say uh, aligns curriculum instruction assessments to help students attain. Uh, the whole I would say, I would say, provides direct direction and monitors. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to say, it doesn't say develop, it should be, gives direction and monitors curriculum instruction assessments. Okay. In a second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Five actually, point, wh where are you? We're at um, 5.2. Yeah, we're at under uh, suggested data. I'm on, just telling her about suggested five. data. Five. Uh -huh. Oh, because I was still looking at the um, performance indicators. Second okay. item on there, we just want to change that instead so, of developing. A system that exists yes. to a, to align is mm. basically provides direction, direction and provides direction curriculum. Good idea. Let's try. Okay. Gonna... Oh, here we go. The second one under there consistently maintains databases that reflect. Student achievement, develop trends, and identifies achievement gaps. There. Exactly. It's, it's in there. I couldn't find it anywhere on here. And then the second one talks about the achievement gaps. Right. Which supports the, the performance indicator. Okay. Yeah, I just want to make sure we have stuff clear on that. Plus, you're doing so much work on that, Dr. King. The school system, the con, the the instrument needs to show where that is. That's yeah, cool. and so I just wanted to let me read back to, to you to make sure that I captured uh, Miss Harper's um, where we were going to collapse four, five, and six. So I'm just looking at impact on instruction and learning, appropriate technologies. I still need to add in there. So, uh, so far I put provide direction, support, and oversight in planning and implementing programs accountability and data systems, and then I need to say something about uh, using the appropriate uh, technologies then, consistent with continuous improvement efforts and attainment of instructional goals. Perfect. Don't you think that covers? Mm hmm Improvement. And that's going to be 5.4, correct? That's going to be the new 5.4. Great. And you, do you think that 5.3 in its current um, line reading, do you think that that's not also redundant? Yeah, I, I yeah, I think that one can because go. Because that isn't what is included. That's inherent in the appropriate okay, curriculum. So 5.3 can come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then is 5.2 covered under what you just? 
the standards and anticipate occupational trends as well as um, I would say provide oversight because we do because you know standards change mm -hmm. okay, um, so and we do want to oversight of standards yeah. that anticipate. so yeah. we do I would say um, provide oversight for curriculum aligned with standards that okay. anticipate occupational trends okay college and career readiness see that in five mm -hmm. two okay okay, okay. Take out the word yeah, design. I just thought that that could be. But improvise oversight. Yeah. Provides, oh, oversight for. Because right. the, the verbs here are verbs that us is not relevant to a superintendent in particular. No. It's no not, not doing all. the work, but providing guidance and oversight. Correct. Good. Okay. So then we have a 5.1 or 5.2. We crossed out 5.3. So what I was reading as a new 5.4 is actually 5.3. 5 mm -hmm. Yes. And I'd added what Captain Kelly said under suggested data and documentation. Let me make sure that I finished writing that. Um, so we have one line. The first bullet says promotes the success of every student. Um, and then uh, we needed to add conducts routine monitoring visits to attain the effectiveness of instructional program. Okay. okay. And instructional goals. Great. There's something this um, in the AASA it it discusses about the hiring of highly qualified, most qualified personnel. Mm -hmm. Consider that under the leadership, instructional leadership. We had honestly, I mean, that would be a human resources. Six. Yeah, we that's had more of human resources. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we six. did. We, that's yep. six. I, yeah, that's why I didn't think it was a very good indicator for here. For here. Yeah, for six. It would be six would be for six. us. Yeah. <coughs> again, Dr. Green. Where did was that Tammy the higher in the right? Under Domain L. Oh, we don't have it. Okay. Oh, the, um, no, I was asking Dr. King to be added. Oversees the recruitment, appointment, induction, and assignment of the most qualified personnel available. That, to me, would be under Standard 6. Wait, L what? Which one? L what? L3? A2? L3. Looks like the fourth one. One, two, three. The fourth one down. Okay. Put Standard be under 6. 6. Because that, yeah, that's how I read it. Um, I think we have that in there. I saw that before. By 6.1. 6.1. I'm still working up for this. I'm sorry. I just happened to see that. Mm -hmm. So... It sort of aligns with 6.10, recruits and assigns the best available personnel in terms of personal and professional competence. Sorry. Okay. I knew I saw that before. Mm -hmm. Consistent with district policies, provides formal and informal feedback, accurate evaluation records, all that should be under HR. The sixth one down. Uh, evaluates, did you just say evaluates performance? Yes. Okay. Informal feedback. In fact, all those all the way down would be under HR. Collective bargaining. And we have that in some of those comments. Um, yeah. Got it. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, we're digressing. Okay. You can go down. Oh, and the achievement gaps is in this is in that in one the, as well. So yeah. we're still looking at the um, suggested data and documentation. Achievement and gaps. The last, yes. Mm -hmm, yeah, I bullet. see that. Periodically briefs boards on databases highlighting achievement gaps and equity in programming. Okay. Should we throw that on that, just under that? Yep. 
you read down um, 6 1 through 6 13, you know, they do cover the, I'm not saying we have to stick with those, but they do cover a lot. They're kind of repetitious. Yeah, I, I have her right here. I, I'll give it to Jackie. I'll see where it's. Of, equity from, program to for our the, performance yeah. standard six? Is that what you're looking at? That on this page. I was really seeing more like HR on this. Mm -hmm. But when you have up here, uh, still st working on standard five, mm -hmm. you have oh. effective, highly effective, and it says creates, creates. I think those create needs to be say promotes rather than creates. Because it's not creating in an organizational culture, you're promoting. Oh, in the rubric? In the rubric. In number five? Under number five. Mm -hmm. Right here. Under high. Oh, I see practice. create. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I'd like the word, promotes. I'm sorry. Promote. I, I just think promote sounds like, rather than, because it's not creating, right. it's promoting. The organizational culture, tentatively. Okay. I agree with that. In all those items. All of them can change okay. to yeah. promote. Yeah. Okay. Greg, do you see anything in this section that you're a lot curriculum and instruction? Yeah, I think you're. Do you have any ideas you would be up for that? I think that's covered. I, I, honestly, I think that's. What's covered? Um, I, think, I think that the collapsing of those three has made it oh. more de definitive. The ineffective, in it, and, and then this. Oh, with the ineffective too. I think that this, yes, okay, would make this all, yeah, okay, streamlined and, and understandable. Have I lost you? Uh -uh. Just seeing where we I can. Lost you. <laughs> if we could yes. push these together. So. Yes. And on those six one to six thirteen, Dr. Kane, do you you do all of I mean are all of those things that the superintendent does do or it's just we go through a lot about recruiting where are you assigning? So uh, we're we're are we standard six. Okay, were we done with standard five? Oh. I just want to be sure that so I, I can I'm good with we're it. Good. I'm good. Mm -hmm. okay. Are you with it good? Um or did we lose let me now? just be sure that we said something about professional development. Okay. Oh, it, yeah, I think that's, that follows all through that. Um, you know what, there's not a lick, there's nothing in here about professional development. No, it's, then it's in, it's up in the other one. It's in which the one? The other in, leadership one. Oh, did we put it in that one? It's, yeah, it's, it's, six, it's in six, there's one in 6.3. Develops and executes robust professional development plans. Oh, okay. As mm -hmm. long as we hit it. Where is okay. that in which one? Okay. 6.3. Oh, six, okay. okay. I was, I under I read under that human. Used. Yeah, yeah, six point two. Develop future leaders. Central office. Yeah, it's really I feel that that should, yeah. should stay what in HR. About, um, conducts Develop. routine monitoring visit to obtain uh, in five. So under the, under the performance it? standard number six, okay, are these words more, that say develops. One more five, Dr. Kane. At least finish. Oh, okay. Yeah, so was, develops and executes robust professional development plans district wide. So yes, I think that's I think that's appropriate. I think develops. Um, certainly provides guidance and oversight um, because it's direction yeah which section are you wanting um performance standard number six direction i think i think provides direction mm -hmm. or oversight on mm -hmm. some of these words rather than develops mm -hmm. so for 6.3 um, provides direction um you said an oversight of robust professional development plans district-wide. Oversight of robust professional development plans district-wide. Okay. Six point five would change also to provide direction and oversight. Develops the instructional and leadership capacity of staff. I don't. Do you um, do you even know? Establish a process. Or what you look at? Go ahead. 
I was looking at establishing a process to identify and develop future leaders for school and central office positions. I think that's a good thing to have. Yeah, that's a good one. We need to to do that. I think you're having trouble with people wanting but to But is go it up. your process or is that the HR director's process? Well, the the, the system or gives guidance. Um, it's really both. Okay. Yeah, it's, I would say that you're overseeing mm -hmm. okay. that's but, but happening. Yeah. She has identified that as an issue. So, yeah. So she it. identified yeah. The, the... And so sometimes the superintendent's got ideas that right. have to be implemented. So sometimes you are developing those systems and right. programs, and but you certainly are providing direction for it. But I, I think as it is establishes okay. is the right verb. Well, if you have establishment, then you also and maintains. Uh, maintaining a process. Yep. Yes. Because you can establish it, but you've got to make sure, make sure that its okay. process is continued. Got it. It establishes and maintains mm -hmm. a process to identify. Okay. So in that regard, is 6.5 then not redundant of 6.2? Or can it be incorporated in 6.2? What is an instructional leadership mm -hmm. capacity? That's what I'm saying. What is that? So that is it. Yep, that would be evaluating well, your people. Developing principles yeah. would be a huge part of that. So um, instructional leaders, aspiring leaders. So yeah. wouldn't you already be doing I that at 6.2? So we're Develop down at 6.5. That's, that's kind of developing instructional leadership capacity. Yeah, that is redundant. Yeah. OK, okay. so 6.5 can come out. Goes away, yeah. Because that's pretty much 6.2, mm -hmm. which you've just said. Right. So 6.6 .6 and 6.7 could actually be joined. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Provides and supports. Uh huh. Provides oversight and supports. Okay. Yep. Looks like the bargaining process. Okay. Okay. Like the and and 6.8. I mean, did you want to put laws and processes or just processes? Supports bargaining strategies based upon collective bargaining right, laws, laws and processes. processes. Provides oversight for well, that's, the collective she's bargaining. Doing, she's process. providing oversight and supports bargaining strategies based upon collective bargaining laws and processes okay. while establishing, while maintaining productive relationships with the bargaining groups. Yes, six, six through eight can go together. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Okay, all three of while, these. While maintaining productive relationships with the bargaining groups. I think the bargaining group's great. Okay. Is that good? Mm -hmm. We can combine those three. 6.6, 6.7, 6.8. Mm -hmm. We're almost making the page shorter. <laughs> uh. <laughs> now, I did not see number seven. Do you know that? For some reason. What? You're missing seven? I am. Yeah, I didn't print that one out by mistake. I printed them out a second time and gave them to you. Yeah. So I'm missing it should be there. Up, oh, up. Nope. My dog. There ate. we go. My dog ate it. Mine. I don't have a dog. Can't blame him. Got this bad in mine. Okay. Now so it would, and now on the rubric. Then we need to merge those words. And yeah, well, let's I think that's seven. not so hard to do. No. We, we can do that after. Yeah, let's do seven. Okay. So I'm thinking 6.9 and 6.11. Thinking the same. Were you thinking that? Yeah. So 6.9 knows and follows proper procedures for staffing, and 6.11 establishes and uses selection procedures that ensure fairness and equity in selecting the best candidates for employment and promotion. So yeah, delete nine. Delete nine then. Yeah, yeah because. That is a proper right. procedure. You exactly. repeated it. Okay. 
Yeah. So we'll, uh, 6.10 becomes 9, and we just will renumber. 10 sounds a lot like 11 also. Now, I guess they're separate. One because of, of that personal, personal and professional, professional right. competence. You need that. Mm -hmm. to, you know, you're right. And then the second thing is through the lens of equity. Um, Pretty much. For employment, for at the end of point, um, at 6.11? Right. Okay. It, it does, that shows the equity part. Yep. Okay, so it's in there. Okay, so we already have equity. So yeah. establishes, you want to leave it just like it is then? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that it. covers Got my it. concerns. Um, it's on the hiring side. Six was eleven. you said the same. So we're leaving 10 and 11, but, but they may have new numbers. Uh-huh, they will. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we go with 6.12 and 6.13? Are we actually still establishing... Um, Induction procedures? Well, but it won't we go do. on forever. Yeah. Um, so this one probably should also um, Be like provide direction and oversight. Right. For formal and informal induction proceed on. F uh, mm -hmm. Because it can always be improved, but it doesn't Correct. have to be totally established. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and 13's fine. Okay. So you want to look at the rubric here? I think after we're done with all of them, then we should go back and look at the rubrics. Okay. And then we can change, you know, combine those. Tammy recommend that was a good idea. So we can and decide which ones stay and which ones maybe. Yeah, and how we them. merge them together. Because, like, ineffective in these improvement, and mm -hmm. like on six, that could be merged to say does not or, or unevenly staffs. Blah, okay, blah. so are you done with number six? Uh, yes. I am. So okay with six. I truly think some of these are very subjective. Yeah. Let me see seven coincides with. And I, um, under, in the AASA, under professionalism. P, seven goes with P. Right. Relates to board member staff and others in an ethical professional manner. I think is more in line with 7.1 than I guess she even replaced that, but. I'm sorry, give that to me one more time. 7.1. Mm -hmm. I think it's just kind of long and wordy. Okay. But it's, if you just say the superintendent works and relates with the board member, staff, and others in an ethical, professional manner, I think that would cut to the chase. So it, do you see or do you um, want to the keep AASA it? one? That's understand, where I am. Is yeah. that where you are, standard P1? So do you like the superintendent models, professional, moral, and ethical standards, as well as personal integrity in, in, in all interactions? There you go. You like that one? I like that. OK. So we can just and then, so yeah, because substitute that for this long one in 7.1. 7. 7. OK. OK. Take out 7.1 is what you're okay. saying. And just replace it with that. Yeah. Well, because you're already doing that in the other standards. Okay. And actually in this one, I thought this would be a good place to include maintains proper licensure and certification, participates in professional growth activities to demonstrate that you're meeting your certification standards. That is, that's the professionalism, that's right. Mm -hmm. That's under performance P3, is that where? I found, yeah, in professionalism. But I didn't see it really addressed in the evaluation Okay. Tool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that's a good point. The 
Okay, maintains proper licensure and certification. Yep. That's the last one down here. What did you, oh, the bottom where? Mm -hmm. And then the first one this under P3, participates in professional growth, growth activities, activity. including conferences, workshops, coursework, da 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 da. So that would have to be its own. Mm -hmm. So make that 7.2 or, because honestly, 7.2 as it is on here, models, pr pr principles of self-awareness, reflective practice, transparency, ethical behavior. We just did that in one. Yeah. I think it's exactly. Okay, so if the new 7.2 is participates in professional growth activities, and add that end of that wit and then says, while maintaining proper licensure and certification, you could add all, lump all that and make it 7.2. Mm -hmm. I lost you, Jack. I'm good. Right. So we're going to, we switched out 7.1 for P1 under performance standard, okay. and we're switching out 7.2 for P3, uh, P3 the first bullet under uh, performance indicators for and P3. Then, and then the last one. And the last bullet. And, um, and maintains proper licensure and certification. While maintaining proper licensure. While license. maintaining. Yeah. It just completes it. I know it sounds like a run-on sentence. That's how my 15-year-old does essays. Continuing and continuing. Yeah. And then 7.3 to me also is completely subjective. Um, so I don't, wouldn't even know how you would be able to document that. The safeguard democracy. Yeah, I get it, but it's... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, this is what they have in one comic go. Okay. <laughs> I know. I get. I get that, but I just think it's too subjective yeah, yeah. for us to be able to put in this. It's not measurable. It is not measurable. Yeah, yeah it's, that's the way it is. Mm -hmm. It's not measurable. As well as seven point four. Uh, Although seven point three, the first bullet is is doable. Do Model that. and promote multicultural awareness, gender sensitivity, yeah. and appreciation of diversity in the community. Okay, well That's, that was already addressed under... What is it? Yeah, that was already addressed with uh, community relations and in okay. human resources. So... Yeah, seven three and seven four I don't find measurable, so I didn't know what you all <clears throat> laws regarding individual and group rights and responsibilities. <clears throat> Actually I, I think we do have that, that kind of a thing included somewhere else. I just saw it in that I'll tell you where I wanted to have it. That's why I think that performance standards should be just professional professionalism. And take off ethical leadership. I mean, I don't know, Dr. King. So I'm going back to three, um, standard three, to see if that is already captured addressed. right. Um, awareness yeah but again you don't think that's under professionalism do you I would have cultural awareness under community relations well you I can see how it could cross I, I I'm sorry in 3.4 you, you it's touched on establishes effective school community relations and school business partnerships if you want to reword that in 3.4 a little bit under communication and community relations rather than leadership and professionalism. To me, leadership and professionalism is about how you're maintaining. How the superintendent is maintaining his or her position. So could it be, so 3.2 demonstrates effective communication skills, written, verbal, nonverbal, formal, informal, uh, blah, blah, blah. But then the bullet models professionally appropriate communication skills, interpersonal relations, and conflict mediation. 
it doesn't call out the specific groups. Um, Community relations. I could I could see how this would be in professionalism. Okay. With seven point one. I'm trying to think if it would be more appropriate someplace else though. Let's look let me look at uh, visionary leadership if it touches So it may be appropriate to leave that. That's why I thought communications and community relations, it would... You think it would fit better there? Although, it's a, it's a strong enough professional okay. aspect they need to be, I think, to emphasize it in professionalism. You know what I mean? Yes. If we threw it under community relations, like, okay, we all get along in the community. But I think it's unique to... So this is actually the school. Then we can make that one 7.3. Okay. Oh, okay. So we crossed the safeguarding the values of democracy, but we put something actionable. Um, Correct. Make that models and promotes multicultural awareness, gender sensitivity, and the appreciation of diversity in the community. Okay. And then that would also cover 7.4 promote social justice and ensures the individual student needs and form all aspects of schooling. I think it would cover it. Well, what's the community the one schools? Above. I don't know. You think add social justice to which one, Mr. P? We got models, Seven promotes two. multicultural awareness. That one, gender sensitivity. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't I consider? That promotes for the school and the community. Add school and community together. So, okay, how about this? Models and promotes multicultural awareness, um, gender sensitivity, where is that? Uh, social justice, and the appreciation of diversity in the school and community. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Read that one more time, please. Sure. Models and promotes multicultural awareness, gender sensitivity, and then I went down to 7.4 and I pulled out social justice and the appreciation of diversity in the school and community. Okay, great. Thank you. So here's a big million dollar question. How would you document that? Well, going to multicultural events by attending Abs absolutely a, and and how we would, uh, monitor resolving um, is issues whether they're disciplinary or otherwise in the schools okay right okay for the social justice piece okay yeah I was I, that would that to me was very mm -hmm. not uh, beside ambiguous it was just uh, there's no empirical data to support that any is of this really important though because they're even in the in the legislation exactly is, is social justice, social just um, and, and it's going to show itself in discipline. Yeah. Okay. And so that's that's a place to to start okay. to look. Okay. And what they call that is that practices, it's, social emotional learning, and no, social justice. The, and in the in this discipline system, they're pushing to do to reform practices. people, restorative practices. Mm -hmm. That's that. There's yeah. actually legislation Absolutely. about that yep. to do restorative practices for student discipline as opposed to just, you know, punishing them and kicking them out on the street. They're really pushing that right now in the state of Maryland. So that's, okay. that's going to be kind of easy to show. Okay. Did we say leave that second bullet under 7.3? We haven't addressed that one. Okay. Is knowledgeable about, about laws regarding individual and group rights and responsibilities and scrupulously avoids actions that might violate them? Where is that? Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't know how to do that, though. That's Where, the fourth bullet that? under 7.2. Seven, I mean, seven point, the second bullet seven point three. Yeah, I don't know how you'd ever even show it, that. Where? The the way to it's the second I mean, bullet under 7.3. We oh, must have a different version. Yeah, we don't have this. We don't have that same version. Oh, she's got it. 
Oh, yeah, we don't have this. Oh, so okay. you don't have this? Mm-mm. Uh-uh. No, this is what ours looks like. Wouldn't you consider that you already know the laws regarding individual rights? I mean, wouldn't that be it's a part of the job? Well, I, I certainly would say that if but hope so. <laughs> you're not violating any laws. <laughs> it says to avoid actions right. that might violate them. I don't like that. I mean, I don't like that one at all. Let's cross that one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to... The only thing I didn't want to have on here is that it would be subjective to somebody on the board to say, oh, well, I don't consider him or her ethical, so I would give them, you know, a bad performance on it. You know, I mean, you can be... Because it's a personal opinion. It's a personal it's opinion. A and I, do, I, I want everything to be measurable as much as possible. Because this isn't just for us. This is people who are right. when we're not here. Yeah, and the superintendent needs to be able to say, this is what I did. Right, and exactly. To and have some evidence to, exactly. to show. Exactly. Get that highly effective, right? So, so did your did your original sheet have any others? Mm -mm. that no. we didn't? Okay. Mm -mm. Yeah, that was it. Okay. And as I look at the AASA one, let's make sure. Yeah, I didn't see anything on here that we could add. Okay. I mean, I may not see everything. Well done. I think we got through seven. Okay. We've hit some of this in the others. And do we like the title, Ethical Leadership and Professionalism? Or do we want to... No, we don't like the word ethical leadership. I would just leave it as leadership. Leadership, and and I, I agree. I, I know they slightly leave that word ethical out. It. Okay. So suggested data and documentation. Yeah, that was. Somewhere here on suggested data would be, you know, licensure and certificates. Um, you know, meetings, you know, workshops, mm -hmm. conferences, membership, you know, personal organ you know, professional organizations, and that would be definitely be to be able to be documented. A lot of these, I'm sure you do them, and you sit at your desk and struggle with some of these decisions, but. We don't see that. Right. 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 Exactly. But standard. So under suggested. Does the right thing. Yes. yes. Routinely does the right thing. I mean, that's also subjective. You know. Yeah. There's no way to measure that. There's no way to measure that. Unless we're sitting in the office watching her. Right. Which struggle over these decisions. I'm not going to do that. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you mean you don't have you time? Do I don't have time to sit and watch you. <laughs> Here's some per, some actual suggested data and documentation Jackie thought of. On the the last page, turn the page over on P. The AASA document. AASA. Oh, okay. Last page is um, serving on, she is serving oh, yeah. on mm -hmm. some leading some okay. committees. and. Exactly, that's exactly what we are just talking so about. So those are great data and documentation. Okay. okay. I'm fine with that. It's mm -hmm. fabulous. Thank you. Thanks for seeing that. We could take some of the foo-foo out. Fluff. Yeah, fluff. Yeah. So, do you want to include what? Is there are there any that you don't want to add because they look all relevant to me? Yeah, our, yeah. I think it's so. We'll just lift these mm -hmm. or to any future superintendent, right? Right. Yes. Yeah, supports goals, supports and participates in efforts to align district goals and activities with community endeavors. Uh, organizes, facilitates, and presents at local, state, national, contributes to and supports the development of profession by serving as instructor, mentor, coach, presenter, researcher, supervisor, serves on district, state, or national committees, and maintains an active role in professional right. organizations. Yeah. Are we removing everything that's under there mm -hmm. and replacing Please. with this? That would be awesome. Thank yep. you. And then... Um, Yeah, 
I guess uh, would we pull out, are we going to pull out some of the fluff here? Um, professional, honest person who works every day to make decisions yes. in the best interest of students in my district. Yes. I would just do away with all of Yeah, those. I was going to say, if they, are there any that you want to leave is the question. No, I honestly so, know. Okay. This is, this so is. if she has the suggested data there and documentation, use that rather than. And is there anything else we could put in there for documentation on um, working, what is it, a police, what are we, what did we end up deciding on for the performance indicators? Some of them. Let's see here. Um, promoting multicultural awareness, gender sensitivity, appreciation of diversity, social justice. Um, well, that'll all be documented by the, all the different meetings. Right, I guess she goes right to. And that. yes, no. And some of it is is like how she portrays that to the student, to the to the principals. You know, she does have those principal meetings where. Hopefully some of this comes out. Like, how, take for example the way she, or the superintendent would be um, put, put emphasizing the lens of, of equity, which is a, a really good way to, yes. <laughs> to get the whole idea across. Did you read that card? It was really good. Mm -hmm. to, I mean, I should do that in my life, too, you know, when I look at that card. So say, for example, today, it's funny that you should bring that up. So today, we shared that with administrators, with ANS, and we talked about how we might implement um, and, and really utilize those questions in our schools or our departments here at Central Office. And so what I'd be able to provide as evidence of that is the actual presentation, the agenda exactly. that reflects that that is the work that we're doing. Yep. Okay. That's okay. Perfect. So that's probably covered in the exactly. The meetings. Mm -hmm. All right, I understand. Thank you. Now this the meeting we had. This is what we did. Right. Here and show. You know, yes, that would be documented. Okay. So when we do get to a point of um, the using the actual evaluation, that's the kind of stuff we would need you to provide us. With exactly. Concrete examples. You, correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Evidence. Then it's not just us saying, "Oh, she's a nice lady. She's ethical." Or right. She's not, you know. Exactly. Okay, yeah, can you, right, you want to get into that? <laughs> no, I'm just. It's like a lawsuit waiting to happen. What, Greg? She is a nice lady. No, I was just. No. <laughs> she is, it was just when you said, no, she's a nice lady, we'll evaluate her on this. I thought, was... I thought you were going to say something funny. All right. So we're done with that, and now we're going to work on the performance ratings. Is that what I understand? You mean to, to the, rubrics? Combine, the, the rubrics? The rubrics. Yes. yes. Combine combine this. Right. That's the next thing. Can we take a break? You guys want to take a quick break? I was going to ask yeah. if we could Let's take a break, have some dinner, and let yeah. Let's do that and let your, let your brain relax for a minute. And yes, awesome. thank you. Okay. We can take a break. Number eight. There are meetings posted for staff to be able to go to have conversations. So all that can be documented. That this was held, this was held, this was held. So. I think we're covering our bases on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that also would cover the, because it's community collaboration for that one. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And m modeling, mm -hmm. you know, modeling the. Mm -hmm. And the, the last one, the, the last um, Sunday Supper Conversations on Race, we had our um, consultants that do professional development for diversity attend that oh, nice. um, also so that mm -hmm. they have an understanding of what's happening in the community not, not just the school. School. So the right. yeah thank you <laughs> <laughs> okay is everybody <laughs> almost ready to restart it's good and i'm using that a bit i'm not eating it's i good. had two oh, you were good. I'm, 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 i had two uh, wraps they were good i'm good all right Okay, everybody set? Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Ready? Go ahead. Okay, welcome back. Um, the next step we're going to take, since we've got most of our, st our standards and ratings all done, um, we're going to combine the rubrics on each of the performance standards. And um, co we're combining ineffective and needs improvement into one ineffective. Then we, that way we have ineffective, effective, and highly effective. Do you want to put a one, two, three on those? Um, That's fine. There was mm -hmm. a, so let's just call them one, two, and three. And three, we're making highly effective. Okay. Three is a good thing. This is effective, and then ineffective is 
mm -hmm. is a one, a okay. one, two. And because part of ineffective is, will be incorporating needs improvement. So it's exactly. not like they're zeros. So we start out with the first one, limited evidence. The way they're, they're set up, as I was learning about this and reading it, is if you go straight across, it, it will usually, um, they go together. Like, in effect, it is limited evidence exists district vision implemented in, or limited evidence of a vision. Next one is referencing the vision. The next one is articulating it. And the next one is a clear, coherent, you know. So as you move over, um, the highly effective is like the best kind of vision to have. Not in every situation, but in most of them. So basically one and two we're combining into one. Well, one. I wouldn't even say that any of those in, under needs improvement could just go away. Right, because that's saying yeah. limited in, yeah. as opposed to yeah, no. Yeah, so just get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. Agreed. And two also, action. Yeah, is engaged in, yeah, just get rid of it. Because ineffective covers it. And is it difficult to know what the district stands for? And yeah, so I mean, leave in, it's difficult to know what the district stands for. Yeah. What we should do, though, is is look up. Um, you think? Do you think we need to look at the performance standard indicators and see that they are reflected down here in the rubric? We haven't done that. That's I, a big job. Yeah, I think we need to do that. We okay. started doing that. Um, okay. But the first few, uh, but we need to make sure that we've done it. Right. Okay. So everyone could just we change some that. of them. Yeah, we did. And I don't have a new copy, so I don't know. Is it on? I can print one for you. What? If, if it's in there, I'll, I'll just get my It should be out. in your email. Okay. Let me just pull that up. Then. Well, wait a minute. Was, was everybody on that email that you sent to Captain Kelly? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. Oh, you I mean with the new? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Anything. You got it. You should have gotten it. You, yeah, That's you what did. I've been operating. Let me pull it up that way, Michelle and I can see it together. Okay. It was a summary of what we did with all of your your changes in it. Tammy, too, they put that, she put that in there. What I'll do is I'm going to, I'll print this. Okay. Yeah, if you can. If I, can. If I stop spinning. She's going to print two copies. Oh, Jackie, thank, thank you. you guys too. If, you were, if you're looking on your computer, the date is April 4th. <laughs> and I just resent it again, just so it's at the top of your email. I think what the easiest thing would be to look at like 1.1, not worry too much about <coughs> the bullets below it because that's the overall picture of that bullet and then be sure there's, there, it's reflected in effective and highly effective um, aspects of the rubric. That would be my recommendation. <coughs> You know what, I'm thinking one of the better ways to approach this, instead of trying to work together on what the wording we put in each one, we have seven of these um, standards. Why don't each of us take like two 
and then just work independently and compare. We're just comparing that what we've said in this um, standard has something reflected in here. And then we could individually put the words in ourselves mm -hmm. and see if everyone agrees. Wouldn't that be an easier way to do it <clears throat> than all of us working on each one by, you know, together? Well, I'm going to ask a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I may have questions <clears throat> too. Well, okay. the big question is, do we even need the rubric? I mean, reading through these, in my mind, you didn't do it, you did it, you overachieved in it. Do I, do I really need to go into descriptors to tell me? Especially when there's evidence being supplied. Um, that's a good question. Because part of what we're going to see, the board, is from the superintendent. Mm -hmm. Now, I developed the, any changes I made to the highly effective, and that's the main thing I looked at because if I was a superintendent, I'd want to be that highly effective side. But to put it in there, I, I would go back and look at this and then say, okay, that would be, but it is kind of repeating the words. Yeah, it is. Them. So if, if we set at the beginning, which you already have, a definition of ineffective. ineffective, effective, and highly effective, and you put your your number equivalent by each of those, do you really need to detail it out in a rubric in every single performance standard? When the superintendent is going to be giving you comments and providing, providing documentation. So there's no reason to have a rubric. Yeah. What do you think, Dr. King? So, and I, I'm leaning toward what you just said there um, because it's, it's pretty clear. And what we were just doing is we were pulling up some sites where you can create, make, have rubrics made for you. So you put in like just the highly effective and it'll make it for you because this is a lot of work to go yeah. back and do all of that. Yes. So either we could, you, if we had decided we, we wanted to use one, we need to go to an online rubric maker. But if we don't need one, um, this is what this is what, uh, and it's so fun that Michelle had supplied us with, and we could just make three columns: ineffective, right. effect, effective, and mm -hmm. highly effective. Mm -hmm. And then just this is this is here's your 1.4, here's your 1.5, meters, and then have the little lines, and you just put it on there where it is, and a place for and at the comments. End, at the end. Underneath of each yeah, one of end. those we need that. standards. Comments, yeah, right. mm -hmm. Comments I mean, I and documentation. Right. I think it's pretty clear with the standard and the indicator. And then we have been specific about what we're looking for in terms of the documentation or the evidence that we're going to use. Agree. So I, I agree with you. I think it's probably redundant. So yeah. Just I remove the rubrics. Yes. Yeah, I didn't know. And then again, like I said, create the create it where yeah we can write the <clears throat> here's 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 and right. then three here's ineffective, effective, highly effective. And you'll be looking yeah. at the documentation that the looking at it anyway. provided you for each item. This document could go down to five pages. So the solely judge sole judgment call you're making is was it in fact highly effective stuff? like superior stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. Was it effective, works, and was it no good? Correct. I think and that so might be, I just wanted to, we're trying off really hard not to put and too then, much of the subjective stuff into mm -hmm. it. So what we probably need to tease out is yeah. in the beginning, I went there too. The right, of the, rating, mm -hmm, the of the document where it does list out the performance ratings and gives the definition for what is ineffective and what is effective and what's highly effective. Okay. Um, because it's, it's those little nuances that are going to, because let's just say, for example, we use the, um, the equity piece and I show you that we have given um, we've given access to the questions to the school board uh, we've done professional development with our um, administrators all of ANS we all have an equity goal we work with EOS equal opportunity schools and somebody says okay well you're doing it but what is going to get me I'm going to want to know what's going to get me to highly effective in that area 
versus effective. Correct. Mm-hmm. She has to be able to What's see. What's the distinction? Distinction. Right. Distinction. Mm-hmm. And I think that's probably because a lot of evaluations have at least four, some have five, at least four ratings. So maybe I am doing a little of equal opportunity schools and and that's going well, but perhaps I need some improvement because I'm only doing some equity work at high school, you know, if that were the case. So maybe that's an area where you might not say it's ineffective because it is not that it's not happening, it's just that it's not happening to, to the, the degree extent. I need to show some growth in that area. So, so that's the distinction between ineffective and needing improvement. Okay, so ineffective needs improvement, effective. Have and, and I'm not saying that we, sh- we saying, shouldn't. No, 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 you but know, if we it. added an extra one in here, and made it five instead. I don't, I don't know that we need five. I don't no, think so either. Yeah. And I think yeah. three covers it. Yeah. I was just yeah. using that as an example. Yeah. No, she, the yeah. I don't think she had a problem with the ineffective matching. It's the description. It's mailed. the description. Exactly. It, yeah. So okay. if we, we think we should do away with the rubrics, then we need to focus on the what is effective, mm-hmm. what's ineffective, and what's highly effective. And we need to make sure that's very clear. Elsewise, we probably need to keep the rubric yeah. because right. it's going to say, you know, right. maybe if there's an indicator, maybe 1.5, indicator 1.5 has three bullets under it, and if I hit two of those bullets, then, you know, that's effective. But if I hit one, I need some improvement, or maybe that's ineffective, whichever, however you want to look right. at it. But it's just those distinctions that we have right. to be clear about in the definition. And we're definitely going to have some yeah, subjective. Exactly. Pit. You have to. It, it, you it know, is. It is. Because we don't see you every day. Mm-hmm. And you have to go. And, with and between yourselves, somebody yeah. might say, mm-hmm. well, I think that that's great. And somebody might say, well, that's just normal. That's what's expected. And so you got to come to some agreement right. as to, you know. Because we're human. Right. Well, I think ineffective is covered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think effective is covered too. I mean, it's well, effective. Oh. The only thing I would take out of there is performance is adequate, I would take that out. Performance is meeting the standard associated with the performance. Yeah. Or, well, associated with job expectations or the performance is meeting the expectations of job performance. Is that what they're going with? We're not or of the performance it. standard, just to keep yes. the language consistent. Okay. So for effective performance meets expectations of the performance standard. Right, it's performance standards. Okay. Did you get that? Oh. Well, well, I don't think the performance standards are established by the superintendent or for this. No, it says for the superintendent. Okay. Yeah. Just as you have the performance standard established. Okay. Oh, I see. Performance meets expectations of the performance standards. Is that what you said? Okay. You're exceeding expectations. Interesting, the way we described right in the very beginning, performance ratings. Each standard is described in further detail through the indicators. The indicators are not to be rated individually, but are only listed to help think about the meaning of the standard. The standard should then be rated as an effective, effective, and highly effective, as described below. I wonder, we're, we're thinking of rating them individually. 
Right. Well, no, mm -mm. because the perf the standard is standard one, standard two, standard three. Now mm -hmm. we put the indicators like we were supposed to underneath of each of the standards. But when we're talking about um, the, rating. the rating, we're talking about does the superintendent meet the standard for visionary leadership? And I can tell because I know that the superintendent has developed and implemented a shared vision and mission. Mission. The superintendent has provided evidence of that. That superintendent has supported the district's mission by identifying and articulating um, educational needs of students. So it really is the standard that we're rating. The overall standard. So we need to be careful with the evaluation sheet not to individually rank each indicator. Yeah, so but if you're you reading do, through you, these and you're like, oh, no, she totally missed it on that one, that's where your one, two, or three would go in. And that I use, it's an Excel document. As soon as you put your scores in, it scores it for you. So it tells you where your score is going to fall. So we are really rating yeah, individual group. indicators. No, you're using the indicators to guide your thinking as to whether or not the superintendent has met that standard. Okay. And we could do it by the form of it, you know, those three. So this three. language yeah. is exactly okay. what you want to do. So uh, the indicators aren't to be rated individually, but they're listed there to help you think about the meaning of the standard. They help guide your thinking as to whether or not the superintendent has met that standard or to what degree effective, highly effective, or if they've not met it at all, in effect. Correct. And I'm, I'm still doing it because our form is saying, we're saying individually each one, whether we're meeting that or not. If we, if we move with that form, then. If you went to a form like that, your, <coughs> your indicators. Oh, you're yeah, that's yeah. what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, oh. we're talking about. But, you, together, but you, can, you could use that as evidence, you know. <clears throat> you, could, you don't have to say that that's a one, two, or three, but you could check met or not met. With evidence, that's how we are, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise we are not taking the full standard, we're doing them individually. Right, so, so um, has, I think that is an, as an example as, well, I like it because we were able to. Yes, and if we could yeah. put it into a, a better form right. than this, we could mark it right. and say, is this oh, working? So, Is this effective? So like this one, these are your elements or your performance standards. So the first one would be your visionary leadership. And underneath, in the white, would be listed your indicators. And you'd have a score, one, two, or three, right next to each one of them. Then your next one, you could do the same thing. But that is contrary to this, what that's this, what I was saying. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what we might, well, we can work on that later because we aren't going to evaluate until finally in, in July. Or you could think about the right. indicators as whether or not I've provided evidence right. you know, well, of that's that. That's in your goal sheet. Right. right. It, oh, that's exactly what I pulled out. So on my goals, because this isn't an evaluation, is whether or not I did what I said I was going to mm -hmm. do. Okay. It's did I meet that? Did I do it or did I not do it? See, I like that. Or to what degree? Right. And this isn't a rating. But it is, it helps me Keep to stay track. on track. Yeah. Exactly. That, that would be good. Then we mm -hmm. would not be in conflict with the whole idea of the whole standard. Yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We could use yeah. that. And so when it says great. that, you know, one of the indicate the definitions here said something about meeting most of the standards or mm -hmm. what did it say? Yeah, so ineffective performances below acceptable levels fails to meet most expectations associated within that performance standard. And the expectations would then be, you know, the indicators. Mm -hmm. Did, you know, were they met? Were most of them met or not? Right. Okay, so, so ineffective is going to say what now? Performance? But we have what it has. Well, it does have there. the definition already on that front, on that yeah, sheet. That so one, that was I was just good. reading from there. I didn't change anything. That was a good definition. Okay, so I don't have that either. Is that not what you're looking at right there? Yeah, well, the first this, page. Is, this is the old one, and this is the new one she just gave me. So On the very first page, Sammy, you've got way. to flip. Put it. What the first page you just no, have? This is first page. And it's two different. Two different. And what you got? 
They'll do that, and we, yeah. To me, mm -hmm. this only stops. We may um, mm -hmm. turn the next one. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we, may, uh, we may just come cons yeah, not have throw those down. Yeah. yeah, but that's a great. That is more of an indicator. Yeah, that's what we need. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you know what she was writing on it. I was seeing something different. Okay. So this is it. Okay. Thank you, guys. Your brain's keep burnt. Straight. Keep your straight. brain's burnt out here. It's two days. Main meeting. It's two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so ineffective okay, is a good definition. Are we good with that? Mm -hmm. Below acceptable fails to meet most. Okay. So one, and two, and then three. Okay. And we can't, the definition of needs improvement can't really be combined into that because ineffective says what it says, yeah, especially when it says with, most, yeah. not all or none kind of thing. Um, then we need to look at effective. Well, how are we changing effective? That someone was saying. Performance meets standards. Standards. Mm -hmm. Or expectations associated job or with with the with the performance you, standards established you just said performance is associated with is there the another performance, word for performance? I, I think just copy what we have up here only saying performance meets acceptable levels associated with the job standards. The performance standards yeah yeah please come on performance standards yeah <clears throat> And then performance under highly effective performance is superior in meeting expectations of the of the performance standards. Short and sweet. Is that enough description of a highly so, effective? <coughs> so let's think this through. So um, for effective, we're saying performance meets the standards, right? Um, associated the standards because we we know what the standards are okay for highly we're saying exceeds so okay. are we going to because we started out saying most were not met and now we're saying we need to quantify effective in order to quantify highly effective okay. so are we saying all um, expectations are, are met if you're doing effective, and how do we dis distinguish that more than, you know, ex mm -hmm. that the, the superintendent has exceeded the standards mm -hmm. for that, um, that standard, you know? The performance is exceptional on a regular or continuous basis. I do like to comment mm -hmm. in the end, though, the superintendent outperforms relative to minimum expectations. So are we saying effective is minimum expectations? Yes. Right? It's meeting all the standards. Meeting all the standards and exceeding them. But highly effective is, is exceeding. exceeding. What's required. Yeah. And outperforming relative minimum expectations. Outperforming, yeah. Okay. I would leave that. I think a bigger description of how I, is I, okay. Okay. I like that. Read it. <clears throat> we try to pic picture ourselves at in her spot now. His How worker. do you his, show? His worker. So give it to me one more time so I can make sure. Performance, you, you, are we leaving it like it is? Yes. Okay. Yes. Seating is, yes. Basically effective is the minimum, mm -hmm. what we're saying. Mm -hmm. Or what we believe would be the minimum. It's about the best we can do without having and we could to just steal a person. We could do decision. like they did under needs improvement. <clears throat> well, I guess that's a different, but we could put effective in parentheses just to be clear. You know, where it says minimum expectation. So what's minimum? And you just said minimum is effective. So we could put effective in parentheses just to hmm. be clear. In the definition of effective? Yes. Okay. Or highly effective. In the definition of highly effective. So I'm down at um, the last clause, the last part. The superintendent outperforms relative to minimum expectations. And so I thought I heard you say that minimum oh. expectations really 
the is the effective. effective. Mm -hmm. Correct. And so if we just put effective in parentheses, yeah. that okay. makes it crystal it. clear. Yeah. So we're going to call it, this is going to be number one, number two, number three. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. what you said in the rubric. Yeah, we won't have that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's what you want to number three. Wow. But you feel good about what we did? <laughs> and same with the summary ratings at the end of each one. At the end of each one, we have a summary. Are you all okay with this? Well, okay with it too. There's a couple. The numbers are kind of off on some of them. <coughs> because we added or or yeah. So we will yeah we'll have to fix the numbers for added, the indicators. Yeah. You mean? <coughs> some of them have some of them are like 2.0 and then some of them start with 4.1. So yeah. the numbers need to be yeah they should all, yeah consistent. Well, after we proof all the alignment and all that will be taken care. I'm sorry. After we do the proofing and all that, that's where you'll address alignment. And okay. Yeah, because like this one, like one is two, yeah, two, and two point one. We need to start with two point. But to be consistent, I think we should start with uh, when we get down to after we've stated the standard, the indicator should be a point one. So if it's one point one, not one point oh, but two point one, okay. not two point oh, mm -hmm. three point one. Gotcha. Okay. Well, uh, Start always start out with the point, point one. one. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have a question on here. So yeah. our mid year meeting, May fifteenth, we're getting together to do this evaluation. That's what we have. Yeah, that's here. what we need to okay. straighten out. Well, we halfway do. halfway between the the, the the what did we decide on the evaluation? This is July. Which one are you talking about? Just let me finish. So our mid it says here mid year meeting, May fifteenth. We'll be doing the superintendent evaluation. Yeah. We can't. So, will we having that in open session? We we it's, no, it's a closed work session. Always closed. Yeah. Okay. And I don't know if it's May fifteenth. You still haven't gotten that. Yes. Lawyer. It is on. Uh, it is on here. May fifteenth. We will not be meeting with the superintendent. We will be meeting with Darren. Correct. No. Hey. Okay. Well, here's it. It's April right now. Yes. Right? April. Yes, 10th. We'll have this done by what we said May 1st. It'll be. Yes. So we can't really have the evaluation May 15th. We have to change that. This was based on if we got this out okay. a while back. So if it's May 1st, we're going to evaluate her July. So so we'll just have to say early May. We'll do. Um, and I don't know if we want her to provide us information for that or do we want to. That's what I'm trying to do is give the superintendent. Right. Time. I mean, this is this is cumbersome. I don't want to yeah. overload with everything. You know, the end of the year. And, I know. And, you know I mean, and testing just finished. And I guess the question is, do we to want done. to have a mid-year point with you? Because we've worked with you on creating all this. Well, do but you, that doesn't help I'm, her I know, evaluation. But do you feel like we need a mid mid period? Or I don't know that we're going to have time for mid-year. Right. Right. You know, at right. this point, because so at this point. Most of the year has gone by, exactly. right? So now that we have a tool, I'm going to have to go back and align whatever evidence I have, right. having not known that this was what I was going to be evaluated on, no. could present an issue, right? right? So now we have a tool, but when we started this school year, I didn't know that we were going to be looking for 3.3 or yes. 7.2 exactly. or, or any of that. So I'll have had a few weeks not... Right months that's why i'm asking about the time right. frame because i don't think it's fair to you right should we just move into the july i mean and this is a big job to set this up in a month for you to give exactly. to us so i mean and i mean we have to keep that in mind when we're evaluating her too however a lot of these factors we're do you're doing 
You know, that's how we've kind of developed this. Okay, well, we can't get into that. We just want to be able to get, address the time frame for her yeah. to be able to provide the documentation right. that is needed per the standard that we are all working on right now. I'm just not sure if it's fair to say, tell us what you've been doing in a month. Yeah, I don't either. That's why I'm yeah. getting to that. Which is my point exactly. So I wouldn't say to an administrator, okay, you have now an evaluation month. tool. You got a month to prove that you did all these things and you weren't aware that you had to do Correct. some of these right. things on here. Some of it is absolutely common. You know, this is what we do on a regular. But there will probably be some areas in here that we've not discussed. I might not know right. um, that I'm going to be, I was going to be evaluated on them. Right. And, you know, that, that, that puts me in a, a difficult, or any person in a difficult situation so if we say the an august meeting or we do this in july july and hand it to you and in august then you would give us i mean that would it would have to be july we'd have to finish out because we want to start fresh come september 15th which is the next date right honestly yes okay i, I want to be fair and, and equitable. right and the Holy, reason yeah, yeah is the july is in the contract mm -hmm. right correct right. So we need to finish. Okay, so June. Because by September, you're giving us your goals. The next four, right. the next right. year. Exactly. And we really want to be ready for that. Right. And have, you know. Have this on, under our belt. Right. And, and fairly. Right. Not fairly. Not right. fair, not that, that's exact, that's all I'm getting to yeah. is a fair and equitable solution. Mm -hmm. So, um, because again, it's the end of the school year. And, and right now, between now and right. June. Holy. For holidays. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my concern would be that, you know, we're just establishing what I'm going to be rated by against, and then a month later, the rating happened. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't do that to any employee. Right. That's why I'm thinking we, no, I, we I should agree. just do it in the July time frame without an interim meeting. I just don't think it's fair to ask her to go to all that in an interim meeting, so. <laughs> you know, we're getting kind of close. <laughs> it's getting, it's, it's very. Yeah. Thank we'll you. Have to, okay, all right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Right, all right, thank yeah. you. We'll thank talk you. about that later again. Thank you for bringing that up, sir. Okay. Good point, thank um, you, Greg. All right, well then let's finish this. We. Okay, okay. everyone seen, think of anything we haven't covered. So we will then go back and make all of the corrections or revisions, edits that we talked about today. And uh, Ms. Wright will make sure that everybody gets that. And then you'll put your eye on it again. Okay. And, um, and then as a side, we'll create a form like the one that you did, sort of that spreadsheet with some Mets, unmets, or whatever, the categories okay. that you want to yeah. um, you know, include okay. on there so that you, it's sort of a tracking you know, it document does, it if does. you will. Okay. okay. And uh, speaking of that, let's, c we've got a chance here. Let's c complete that. Um, as far as. Yeah, we've got, did not meet, or her, on her goals, she provides, did not meet some progress, significant progress, met or exceeded. And that's kind of how we're thinking of putting next to, on, on our grade sheet, basically. But that may be too many categories for right. you. Right. So she has, did not meet some progress. Here you go. Look at the top of her I lines. Think I have this. Yeah, if you guys got one of these, I we can, one. and we can collapse this down into. We could try to collapse it into three. You can. You can use this. Um, I have. Oh, you have. We can do, bring it down to did not meet, met, exceeded, to match error. Did not meet, met, and exceeded. Yeah, that's a good to match. Ineffective, effective, and highly effective. That's good. So which ones we, are we going to We're going to do did not meet, mm -hmm. met, uh -huh. and exceeded. Okay. That's a good idea. Does that help you? Yes. Okay. Well, when we talk through um, okay. the actual evaluation, we'll have to consider the timing. On it. So we'll talk about that later, as Greg said. Okay. okay. So when, when, you when Mrs. Wright works on it and gets it, what we think is what she thinks it, and is the right thing, send it out to us and everybody please review it again because um, 
we need to bless this. And I have to find out from Darren how we do that, you know, get the input from the superintendent and us to say, this is what we're going to use. And, and this year, we'll use it the best we can. And then as we see, if we see, since it's new, that it's not effective sometime or it's difficult, too hard to deal with, um, you know, and we'll get the input from a superintendent, then we can adjust it, you know, because this is the first time we've made a one on our own like this. Yep. Okay. All right. Everybody okay? okay good good work. Thank you for the help. Thank you. It. Very much. Thank you, Greg. All right, and the last thing we have on our agenda is uh, future meetings. We have a work session on Wednesday, and we talked about it. that's going to be primarily a couple of little admin things, and then primarily um, discussion on the handbook, get the handbook fixed. So we can get that fixed, agreed upon, and voted on to change. Um, the 22nd is the um, commissioner's hearing at Bay Bayside Elementary. I personally am not going to be here. I'm going to be on vacation because that's spring break, 22nd, but that's at Bayside. Um, so as many as can attend, please do. And if you want to make a statement, it's usually helpful. Um, and did you get the information from Jackie about the Senior National Honor Society luncheon? It's a, a nice event at Bridges, and I guess you talked talk to them about that. Another commissioner hearing at the Liberty Building here in Centerville on the 23rd. I can make that one. I can make Center Southersville Middle also. So hopefully you guys can make one or um, two of those. Is, is anyone available on the 22nd? That would be the one I would hope we have one board member. I'm going. Okay, thanks. And then May 1st, we finally, I think, get on a good schedule until we get our budget back. <laughs> and we'll be doing a school board meeting the first Wednesday and the work session the fifth, the um, third Wednesday from that point on. Uh, the June 19th school, the work session, uh -huh. will more than likely be budget. Right. Absolutely. Yes. Hopefully we can do that. Because they will hand reconcile, reconcile mm -hmm. the budget. So just plan that may, that meeting may be longer. Right. <clears throat> I would say you would probably take the rest of the afternoon off. Well, we may be correct. Um, I would say we that's may be changing be that to an evening this, meeting once we get we this. We cannot. That's the third, third one. Yeah, no, third once we get the, uh, the handbook fixed, oh, we'll not we be getting the handbook it. fixed before the June meeting. We will not? No, we will not. Why? Because we, would, we don't have a fifth board member yet. We have oh, to have, I have to check with, I have to check with Darren about that, yeah. See what the rule is on that. Okay. So. Okay. All right. Any other questions okay. on that? We have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Motion and second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Motion is carried. Thank you. <clears throat>